I'm like, shout out to my nigga fucking Sal. If he get locked up, I get him bail. You know, Sal. I definitely think, man, you, you, you on the right path. I feel like we're the bands that definitely got people back in your corner, like yeah. you said. Because um, it, it was that point where people were probably... You feel like, me? And I love, you I love when they sleep on me. Because I'd say, if y'all sleep on me, y'all sleep on an air bed. Because how can y'all sleep on a creator? How can y'all sleep on a trendsetter? One thing about me, I say trends, and they get stolen. But that's gonna happen when you a head. You right. can't. When a nigga steals some shit from you, you say, "All right, that nigga stole my shit." But when you a trend setter, start set a new trend. Niggas want fucking the flow. Niggas want. Oh, they be scared to do that. I'm comfortable with myself. That's why a nigga could jump in the video dressed goofy as hell. Cause I know as soon as the video over, I'm that nigga still. I'm still gonna have the hoes. The hood still gonna call me. And niggas still gonna love me, and it's gonna entertain people and make people smile. Why not? I ain't gotta have niggas mugging and wanna shoot shit up all day. That shit not cool. That get niggas locked up. Like I said, I got niggas really locked up. Like, they trying to get my niggas life till we brought that shit out. You feel me? When we brought them bands out, they like, ah. Oh. Right, right. So I'm like, man, we ain't even on that. We just gonna make the people gonna do this shit for the youth and do this for our city and do this for our family. Fuck those family. And, and speaking of the city, how, how do you feel about the city? Man, right I now, love man? the city. I love the city. And I love the love y'all been showing the nigga. I can tell y'all miss a nigga everywhere I go, y'all showing crazy, man. And y'all really see me out there, too. I see y'all, too, because I be in them streets, man. That's one thing y'all can say. Yeah. I be in them streets. Man, I was on. Um... I was on Instagram, and it's somebody I know through a mutual friend. I'm like, dog, is it Pablo in this uh, prime send-off picture? Yeah. I'm like, you just popping up everywhere. Man, I pop bro. anywhere because I told him I don't fear nothing, man. I don't fear no man but God because at the end of the day, that's a blessing. Yeah, and I feel like he, he, he gave me to get the rap because I don't know how to fuck out rap. I can't tell. I start saying some shit. Nigga play a beat, I make a song in two minutes. Right. Nigga's like, how you think of that shit? I don't know. That's some shit we did today. <laughs> right, that's some right. shit I had on last night. That's some shit I saw yesterday. That's some shit my people did. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like it's a gift. Like I consider like I got the gift of gab. And that's basically like the gift of words. So shit, you gotta know how to like if you gonna got the gift of words, you gotta know how to use that. Cause you can make motherfuckers do some negative shit and at the same time you can make some motherfuckers do some positive shit. And if I make motherfuckers do more positive shit than negative shit, that's how I'm gonna get blessed. So that's what I'm really working on, just trying to keep motivating motherfuckers and stay positive so I can get my blessings. Um, speaking of, this is just something I just, what you talking, I just thought of this. Um, speaking of doing positive things and, and doing stuff for, you know, other people and things like that, what's your relationship like with Days Love? Or do y'all have a relationship? Because I, me personally, you know, I'm, I'm, talking talking shit. Shit. I'm like, man. We ain't really got no relationship and I'm just going to be 1,000 with you. Because she be busy and I be busy. Mm -hmm. But she like really with a major label and shit. And y'all know how shit like that come. It probably right. might not even be shit against her. But I still fuck with her. Right. But y'all know like with major labels and shit, you can't do what you want to do. Exactly. You can't drop songs with who you want to drop with. You can't come fuck with who you want to fuck with. Because it's all with your shit. So shit. I just be doing me though. And she just be doing her. But she just on um, shout out to her because she just reposted my word of bands that challenge. So I just show you she showing she showing a nigga some love. But right now shit, I'm really just trying to stay focused though. Yeah. And cause I'm young as hell too. I'm only 22 years old. Right, right. So I'm just still I really grew up in this shit, so I'm just seeing how this shit go. And I, and and I say that for the people who may not know why I said yeah. that. Let me clarify that. I, I I only reason I say that is because Yo, shit did. early in Early in the try me uh -huh. stages uh -huh. with that record, you posted that video. You was like in a car or something. Yes. You made a video, yes. and I feel like off that video, uh -huh. she gained a lot of legs uh -huh. in LA, in California, sure. in the Bay Area. Bad so ass. that that was that's was me being a fan of the game and the culture and somebody who studied. That's what made me ask. And that's the true shit. Cause I'm gonna tell you exactly how that situation happened. It's all started. I'm at the crib and shit with little bro one day. Little bro, he playing something on the phone. Like, what the fuck is that? Because the shit was so fucking catchy. I'm thinking it's like one of them Vine 30 seconds videos. You know how they right, might right. see one of them sweet ass songs? But yeah. It's like some fake shit. So I'm like, nigga, you like, nigga, this day is long. She from the city. So I clicked her page. She only had like 5,000, 2,000 followers and shit. And I'm like, I fucks with you, girl. I fucks with your song. She like, you fuck with me. I'm like, yeah, I fuck with you. He's like, I fuck with your shit too. 
So one day I'm chilling with my nigga 40 the Great. Shout out to the East Side and shout out to my nigga 40 the Great. 40. 40, you my nigga. I love you. been home for a minute, but welcome home. I love you, nigga. <laughs> I love you, nigga. And that's from real shit, because you know that shit mean you do. You know that shit mean you been through. You know that shit you talk to, nigga. I love your ass. No rap shit, none of that. 40 is solid, dude. 40 taught me how to act. I was, I got a whole movie we was working on called Raising Around Bosses. 40 sat with me every motherfucking night, nigga. And read over my script with me. Read over my shit with me. All that shit, so I love that nigga, and at the end of the day, he a real nigga. So I was in the car with him, like I told y'all, see, I'm a, I'm a real nigga too. And I like, bro, so I'm, I done jumped in the whip with him and shit, we in the whip and shit. I'm planning to try me for the nigga. I'm like, nigga, you ain't heard this shit. <laughs> yeah, he like, you crazy. Like, nigga, I done turned the fall down, like, try me, try me. I go to Cali, like, next week, nigga. This one, I don't know nobody. I don't, I don't know about three niggas out there. So I just post up in the studio all day and just do features. And every nigga that come to that bitch, I'm honest to God, truth, they say, bro, you got the streets going crazy right now with that day's love girl, nigga. Her shit, bro. Once you posted her, nigga, her shit went dumb. Right. I'm like, huh? So, it started picking up, picking up. Then I started getting them calls where niggas like, you can't do shit like that, bro. I'm like, man, my blessings <laughs> gonna come, man. I'm not no like, hater, bro. I could post what I want to. I just ain't know I had that much power in my hand, to be honest. Right, that just right. showed me, like, damn, little nigga, you got some power. Because how could a fucking Instagram, whoever thought an Instagram post could get you a record deal? Exactly. It's crazy. <laughs> That's wild, man. It's crazy. I, um, before, we, before we wrap it up, though, I just want to, you know, kind of give you a floor, give you an opportunity to speak to the people who've been riding with you from uh -huh. day one. And, and and just everybody in general, man. Man, to the people, this for, this for the people that been there since day day one. I love y'all and I fuck with y'all and I'm taking us to the top. Don't don't let me not dropping no music or y'all not seeing me wonder like, damn, Pablo, can you still be our superhero? Yes, I can still be our superhero. Cause y'all gotta remember this. Batman won't bring everybody to the Batcave. So when I'm in the Batcave, I gotta work. But I was in the back cave work. I come in with a motherfucking thousand videos, a thousand songs, and a thousand niggas that do the same shit I do. And we gonna run this bitch. And we gonna run the world. I'm gonna take us somewhere we ain't never been. Because I was the first nigga not even to say this, and that's not even on no arrogant shit. But I was the first nigga from this bitch doing shows in California. I really opened up the doors for everybody, but a lot of motherfuckers don't see shit like that. But motherfuckers that see shit, don't see shit like that, they don't see statistics. I believe in statistics. Anybody could talk, anybody could do this, but it's statistics, it's numbers, it's dates. I've been in Cali three, four years ago. When I'm about 18 years old, don't know shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't never think a nigga make it out this bitch, because it was a time in Detroit and sales could vouch for me where a nigga be like, ain't nobody like that Detroit shit. Y'all need to switch y'all flow up. Don't nobody want to bang that shit. Ain't no now we out in California, now we out in Milwaukee, now we out in Indiana, now we out in Ohio, now we out in Kentucky. There was a time niggas told us we want to make it out this bitch. So to everybody fucking with me, I love y'all and appreciate y'all. And to everybody that's new, stay with me because I'm going to really motivate y'all and make y'all want to go do some positive shit and get that bag, man. I'm going to make that bag music that makes y'all want to grind. I don't care if y'all work, what y'all do. It's going to make y'all want to do that shit. Go to school, whatever y'all want to do, chase y'all dreams, don't let nobody tell y'all shit. I don't give a fuck if y'all want to build cars, I don't give a fuck if y'all want to build box, anything y'all want to do, do that shit. Cause motherfuckers told me I couldn't do shit, and I'm around this bitch shining every motherfucking day. Damn right. I appreciate you, man. Always. Man, I appreciate you, bro. Always keeping it 100, dog. Like, like I said, man, you, you been a dude that's kept it solid since the first day I met you. And true, Lil George too. For that, yeah, even George, before, even George. before I knew he was rapping, he was with you, and he was just like always, a dude, man. Cause that was my little nigga, bro. Well, he hit me up on motherfucking. This how me and Lil Bro linked up. He had hit me up on Twitter and shit, and then. I ain't know, like, a hell of niggas was hitting me up with my little cousin, like, bro, he good, he good people. So I just went over there. Ever since I went over there, me and the little bro was locked in. Because yeah. I told you, I fuck with real niggas, bro. So shout out to BMB, shout out to my nigga Peanut. And sh I love that nigga too, man. That's a real ass nigga too, bro. That's my yeah. nigga. Like, I really fuck with niggas, bro. Like, it might not, y'all might not see me on pictures and shit with a lot of niggas, bro, but we on the phone every day. I'm, I'm sitting with niggas every day. 
Cause that's what real niggas do. Yeah. All these fake motherfuckers every time you around them gonna say, pull that picture out, do it. Right. No, do that with niggas. Well, I be with niggas every day, I ain't got a song with it. Them niggas rap a thousand times. <laughs> but they ain't never came pop low cause we been on some other shit. So I just, that be showing me like who real and who fake. So that shit just be funny sometimes. Cause like I said, I've been doing this shit since I was 16, 17. So I know when niggas real, I know when niggas fake. So shout out to all my real niggas. But shit, I come across real niggas cause I don't really put myself out there. You can come past get that broom. This some real nigga shit. This my cousin right here, man. You gotta get that broom. You can grab that motherfucking broom. We ain't, this ain't fake. Go walk past that camera. Get that motherfucking broom, man. You gonna keep all this shit, man. You gonna keep it all this in the hood with it, man. I'm telling y'all. That shit real, man. Ain't, Sir. ain't shit fake but a bitch hair, and I don't care. <laughs>